Hey guys, today is a quick video just to show you you don't need to have raised beds like this or a huge garden in order to start growing your own food. So let me show you a couple of examples. There's no surprise here. Actually, I'm talking about growing plants inside a container. Now, the first thing that comes to mind when people think about growing something in a pot or inside a container is growing flowers like this, like this. But you can actually grow edibles, vegetables inside a container. And it's just about decision and be more informed about what to grow inside that container. Now, for example, right here I have a planters and it's about 36 inches by 18 inches. It's actually a lot of real estate to plant. Right here alone, I have two tomato plants, two basils on the back, marigolds, I have beets, I have leeks, I have chives, green beans, thymes, um, two peppers chilling in the shade, and I have actually, did I say carrots? <laughs> I have carrots right there and have nasturtium trail trailing on the other side. So, as you can see, there's a lot of things you can fit inside a container. And like I said, it's all about being informed and decide what you want to plant inside that container. Now, this might be overwhelming for some beginner gardener. There's so many different varieties right here that for beginners, it might just be too much. So I'm gonna show you another option, a smaller scale, but it's still gonna give you a good production. Right here, I have a 10 gallon grow bag, or you can say 10 gallon containers. And there are four different plants inside this container. As in my other planters and raised beds, I plant things together, different type of plants that they grow well together. We call them companion plantings. So right here, I have, um, I have green beans, I have basils, I have marigolds, and the star of the container is a black beauty tomato. So right here, it's really easy and simple, guys. You just need to basically take care of the tomatoes, make sure you take out all the suckers if you like, or you can just let it grow bushy. And if the tomato grow taller than the trellis, you can either let it grow over the trellis or you can actually add additional garden sticks to support more height out of the tomatoes. And seriously guys, the 10 gallon grow back would be more than sufficient to give nutrients to the plants. Of course, over time, I would suggest that you give in a little bit more fertilizer just for um, boosting the production of the tomatoes. Right here, I have a seven gallon grow bag, a smaller scale. Usually I plant something that is taller and skinny, like here is an okra, surrounded by green beans at the bottom. As you can surmise, tomato is my favorite, so my other grow bag also. Heirloom tomato, this one is Lucid Gem. The companions for the tomato is, of course, the green bean, marigold, and basil. And actually here, I snuck in a couple of onions right there and next to it there's another tomatoes this one actually a cherry tomato type which grow very prolific and awesome and I should mention that if you are a beginner gardener cherry tomatoes is awesome they're really easy to take care of and similar companions I have green bean basil marigold and this time I actually snuck in some um, carrots in the back. I honestly can't remember what type of carrots they are. I think I probably snuck in a Parisian or the half size carrots. And if you notice, I actually clump the carrots pretty close together. If you want to have a full grown carrots, then I would suggest you space them apart a little bit more. In this case, I just kind of aim for baby carrots and just to improve the flavor of the tomatoes. And that's it. It's about uh, planting inside a container. And actually, I'm going to work on my next planters. Right here, I have um, eggplants, I have purple peppers, I have apple cucumbers that I'm going to train to trail up. On the other side, I'm thinking about doing some long beans to trail up. 
and some other things that I need to fill in the middle. So, like I said, you don't need a lot of space to start growing your own food. If you have any questions, if you need ideas, or if you have input, do place a comment below or message me directly. And this is Kat from Husband to Feed. Thanks for watching.